This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Talk to me a little bit about uh, championship wrestling from Florida. Mike's going to go back here. He's even going to win the Florida heavyweight championship. Uh, and it's not too terribly long. He debuts for JCP, but you and I haven't spent a ton of time talking about the Florida territory. What can you tell us about that era? Eddie Graham, man. They had, they had, the, they had the voice and Gordon Soley. Uh-uh, Conrad Thompson. A mighty powerful sight in those tights. Uh... They had the voice of the storyteller in place and they had every talent in the country. Uh, that's, that's, that's a wrestling exaggeration. Many talents in the business wanted to live in Florida. Right. Weather, no tax. state tax. You can, all your trips are essentially maybe except one was by car. So you can load up with your buddies, get three or four guys in a car, get your beer, roll your joints off you go. And, uh, they were in that weekly territory, like, you know, like clockwork. Eddie had a very, when Eddie was sober and the, and the alcoholism had not just overwhelmed him where he was uh, drinking way too much. Uh, he was brilliant. I mean, he was really, really brilliant. And Cowboy used to tell me stories about Eddie, you know, coming up with an idea. And then, then Cowboy went, everybody wanted to go there to, to work because again, because of the weather and the state tax. And, and if you're an ambitious guy that wants to be a booker and you have a chance to work with Eddie Graham, wow, that's an education. That's a PhD. And I think that's, uh, that's I, I know that's why Cowboy went there. He wanted to learn more about how to be a booker and run his own territory. So, uh. I, I think, uh, you know, Eddie was just amazing. And he, you know, Eddie hired Cowboys as Booker. You tell me a lot about uh, Eddie, but I haven't asked yet. Uh, did you meet Eddie? Did you ever work uh, with Eddie or, or was it just all stories through the Cowboy? No, no, I met Eddie. Uh, Cowboy had a, thanks to our business being good and maybe a little bit because we did buy some radio and promoted events like a real promoter would do. Uh, cowboy built a big addition onto his house or a pool house or something, but he had like a grand opening house. Open. What do you call those things? A house warming deal house. Yeah, that's it. And so Eddie flew in for that. And, uh, so he had nobody, he, it was all cowboys buddies from Oklahoma. Uh, not hardly anybody from the wrestling business, as I recall. Except maybe some of the, us that were working for Bill, what the rest of us weren't invited. Uh, so Eddie was by himself, and with his uh, proclivity to drink and, and drink a lot, having Eddie just hang by himself probably wasn't the best idea. So I got assigned to be Eddie's chaperone. Mm. So I spent the entire night with him, and I it was one of the most glorious nights as far as learning the business the psychology of the wrestling business and people listen to this could they, they some are going to totally disagree and that's a right. Uh, I'm not a, uh, you know, keyboard warrior where I'm going to cause you disagree with me. Then you're an idiot. You might be, you probably are. Cause I'm usually right. Uh, I'm kidding. That's a joke folks. That's a joke. Uh, I, I learned so much about psychology. The, bo the bottom line is this. As long as our human makeup stays in, as it somewhat is, where we have feelings, we give a shit about things that are important to us in our life. Uh, we understand, we have empathy for, for those downtrodden or those challenged. Uh, then uh, the psychology of pro wrestling is never going to change. Let my family save your family some cash. You don't need perfect credit. You don't need money out of your pocket, but we will save you money. It's not a matter if. It's a matter of how much save with Conrad.com. Unless human culture changes so immensely that this doesn't matter. And I don't think that's ever going to happen. I think that's just a normal trait and it's more normal for some than others. So, uh, the, the, he, he played off that. That was his foundation, making somebody get somebody over 
make that emotional investment where you care if somebody wins or loses and above all protect your titles. Don't change the title every few weeks where I, I can't even get, I can't get settled in this deal. I hadn't got to collect the trading card yet with you with the title belt, you know, come on. So I, yeah, I, I had that, that one night with Eddie was really, uh, eye opening and a great experience. He was very cautious of me in the beginning because, you know, he, he knew I did the Bill's TV show because he had complimented my work to him. That kid you got doing your commentary is doing a nice job. And, uh, which I really appreciate it. Cause that went a long way with cowboy. He it val it validated what he thought already. Cause if he didn't think I was doing a good job, I would have been there no matter what. So, uh, I, I like, uh, those, that talk with Eddie was amazing. It's another one of the situations where, you know, I spent three days with Muhammad Ali and I didn't take one note. Hmm. I didn't record nothing. And the stories he told me about betting on himself and things of that nature were unique to, for the time uh, among other stories. Uh, so, you know, I just, uh, really cherish those moments because it taught me so much about psychology. Psychology for pro wrestling isn't any different than psychology, Conrad. If you're producing a movie, you're directing a TV show of another kind, whatever. You're playing on basic human emotion. And the once you're as a booker, you can determine what that what those basic human emotions are that are real real and transferable from the character to the TV audience. You got it made. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.